That's pretty uh, classy. Um, I want to mention. <clears throat> I want to mention something. I, I was supposed to have a book order here, and it's going to get here Monday. Um, so there are. Uh, I think they have books. I didn't even look back there, but they have books back there uh, in the tuck shop. And then uh, I brought like one copy of the Understandable History. So what we're going to do is throw that in the air and let you fight over it. Uh, or a thousand dollars, but anyway, um, no. Here's what we we'll do: we got the, uh, I think we got the Understandable History, the Youth Book, Forest Pleasure. I don't think. Uh, no, he found a couple answer books. We didn't bring an answer book. Um, anyway, what you'll do is we have one copy of that, so you can look through it if you want it. And if you want it, here's what you do: sign a list and put your address on there, and pay for the book now. And then when we leave, we will um, throw that list away and. This has really worked out wonderful for us. <laughs> when, that, uh, when that order gets in Monday, uh, then they'll, they'll ship you. If you're, if you're from the church here, you just get it. Uh, if you're from somewhere else, they'll ship that to you. We'll take care of the shipping. You won't have to take care of the shipping, all right? Um, there are, there'll be two things back there that are free. You got our prayer card. I appreciate uh, if you would take a prayer card. I cannot tell you how much we need your prayers and want your prayers. So, um, uh, and it's got a picture of my wife. It's really nice. I think I got one here. Yes, yes. Isn't that nice? <laughs> That's a nice picture. That picture is so nice that I took a prayer card and cut it and put it in my wallet so I could have a picture of my wife. But um, anyway, so feel free to take those. And then there's a little bookmarker. Uh, on one side, I think it has one of the fight on stories. On the other, it has a... Um, uh, some of our posters, and I think it might have one of the web page addresses. We've got two of them. Uh, and so feel free to take a, a, um, a bookmarker uh, and feel free to take uh, a, a prayer card. Uh, like I always say, it, if we can get a prayer card onto a Baptist refrigerator, we got six chances a day of getting prayed for. <laughs> one of those somewhere around 1230 or 1 o'clock in the morning. But, um, uh, and also Monday will be coming in, I don't know if I had these last year, but there are going to be four tracks on the King James issue. Two of those are written by uh, a very good brother by the name of David Walker. Uh, Walker, uh, we published some of his books. He's uh, very uh, analytical, very good. And then two others were published, uh, written by another great guy, me. <laughs> uh, remember, I think it was last year, we did more than doctrine up here. We had the guys reading from, from different versions. That's more than doctrine in track form. So I won't review that for you. Uh, and then there is one, and Brother Garrison was just asking me this uh, yesterday, uh, did I have anything on the New King James? And this is on the New King James. Uh, there's not a lot out there. <clears throat> and here's what happens. If you deal with anybody uh, about versions, you go to this verse, and you go to this verse, and you go to this verse, and you show where the NIV is wrong, where the New American Standard is wrong, where the New Canadian Standard is wrong. Uh, and... Um, uh, and here's the problem. When they did the new, the new King James, they knew your verse. And they didn't change any of them. And so you say, well, look at that. And they'll go, well, yeah, it's okay. Oh, well, well check this out. And they go, yeah, it's there. And so I realized that I was going to have to read the New King James Version cover to cover. Now, I read the Bible cover to cover, but I have read the New King James Version cover to cover four times. Surely there must be a medal in heaven for that. <laughs> It's like kissing your mother-in-law, I'm telling you. And so, um, uh, definitely not something I'm going to do four times, but um, uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you a couple of things. First off, first off, because even some of you Bible believers, uh, you really believe that, that, like something like the New King James, even though you don't believe it's perfect, you do believe it's easier to read. You won't admit that, but you do. Uh, and I always say this, and I don't know about Canadian schools, but I know about American schools because I spent... 15 years in one. Um, uh, did you guys start out uh, reading, uh, learn how to read with things like C, spot, run? Okay, okay. Uh, with me, it was the police and it was C, Sam, run. But anyway, um, <laughs> also he would duck every now and then and zigzag. But um, <clears throat> those are single syllable words, guys. Single syllable words are, that's how you teach somebody to read. And so this is just a partial list. I think there might even be a larger list in the understandable history. But I'll give you an example of what, um, of some of the changes made to the New King James that are in the name of being easier to read. And I'll tell you, tell you what they changed from the King James. 
Uh, in in um, Genesis 18, verse 1, it tells us that, that uh, Abram dwelt in the plains of Mamre. But that's, that plains is apparently hard for you to understand. And so uh, the New King James has changed that to terebinth trees. Now, don't you think that's just, isn't that just terebinth? <clears throat> but, um, uh, and so maybe Abraham was a monkey, I don't know. Um, here's one you didn't understand, old. I mean, ask any kid. What's old mean? They point at their parents, right? <laughs> but, uh, but that has been changed in the New King James to elderly. Now, come on, guys, three syllables for one. That's not easier, okay? And, and think about trying to talk to somebody that, that is like about seventh grade or seven, seven-year-old mentality, you know, high school graduate. <clears throat> uh, here's one, here's one. The sun was up. Now, that's King James. You know how that got changed in New King James? The Ascent of Harry's, which I still have not figured out. Uh, you know what a cistrum is? Not a cistern that catches water, but a cistrum. Uh, does anybody know what a cistern is? Shut up. <laughs> uh, I'll bet you all know what a cistrum is. Cistrum is the New King James word that replaces the word you couldn't understand, cornet. Everybody knows what a cornet is. Dodge made him in 1966, bought one with the Emmy. <clears throat> um, uh, this is something that, that uh, I, I didn't plan on reading New King James uh, uh, four times. I was going to do it three. Uh, and, and going through the third time, I picked something up. But one of the things that I was amazed. Now, you, remember, you know what this one is? Does anybody know what's particular or peculiar about this verse? He that hath the Son hath life. He that hath not the Son of God hath not life. What is it? All one-syllable words. Right. So, now I'm sorry, guys. Uh, look, I don't mean to call you a name, but I think. I don't know what you do. Is that the only verse in the Bible that's all single-syllable words? Has that thought ever gone through your mind? Probably did at the speed of light. Never stopped. But, but I thought, okay, okay, what about single-syllable word verses? What about verses that are all single-syllable words? And so I began to do a study, and I did something I never do. I don't usually put notes in my Bible. But I started back here. Now, this was, I, I looked at, at single-syllable words in four formats. A verse with single-syllable words and a verse with all single-syllable words and names, a name. Because Moses is going to be Moses in a New American Standard as well as King James, Correct. Uh, and then I did one single syllable words with maybe one word like unto or even or also. And then that same format with, with uh, names. And <clears throat> what happened was came up with, um, I started with, uh, with this, this page, and that ended up in this page. And then that ended up in... Um, that page, and that page, and this is the end. And I've come up with about 318 verses that are all single-syllable words. I'm, I'm figuring I got a 10% error rate, okay? So somewhere close to 300 at least single-syllable word verses uh, in your King James Bible of the single-syllable words with, with like an unto or an also. Uh, I've got 980. You probably dropped that down to 900 easily. <clears throat> but here's what I'm telling you. As I'm reading the New King James, I had a New King James and a King James in parallel. And as I'm reading my Bible and I'm reading the New King James, I, was, I became amazed and impressed at how much King James translators could say in single syllable words. Some of those verses that have single syllable words have as many as 24 words in them. I'm not talking about Jesus wept. I'm talking about 24. And I don't believe this for a second. I don't believe for a second the King James translator sat around the room saying, hey, let's see if we can say this in all single-syllable words. <laughs> I don't think they knew they were doing it. So here's a word with six letters in it, and it's got one syllable, breach. Isn't that amazing? Breach, one word, one, sing, one syllable. That has been replaced in the New King James with dilapidation. <laughs> uh, that's not easier to read. Uh, if, you have, uh, if you don't have a King James Bible, you walk out there, you hear a sound at night, and you go, ooh, it's a night creature. And then a King James reader uh, walks up and says, don't worry, it's just a screech owl. Uh, the King James Bible says, evil, New King James, catastrophe. 
which is what most New King James Bibles are. New King James Bible is. 